And let's go. So, let's... so last time on Dungeons and Dragons, you had just escaped kind of a drow prison-like cell after almost being completely tortured by an unknown wizard. After your eventful escape and crashing into the worrying rivers of the deep, you eventually found yourself a vessel full of drowish mercenaries who seemed to belong to the royal guard. After defeating them and killing all of them, you took the ship to an old inn in the underdark, the head of a purple worm sticking out of the ground. As you entered, you met an old friend. At least your friend had met an old friend. Until you were ambushed by the same drowish kind of mercenaries who had attacked and you had attacked before. After a huge bar fight with many of the kind of underdark criminals being killed in the process, you narrowly escaped a burning building deep down into a trap door leading God knows where. Currently with you are two <laughs> Ember Shard agents who are leading you to what they believe to be a safe haven. Oh, if they're leading us, then they should literally be leading As us. As they're walking down kind of this stone path that has turned from kind of this staircase that came down beneath the worm, you're kind of walking amongst this cha chasm mountain that slopes down into an even larger path that even slopes down even further down into the dark. Um, which is farther than you can even see. You've been walking this almost for about a mile now, and the entire team they've been defining this location as uh, Ember Shard territory, a stronghold, one to fit for the gods. Where you you know, the best place you could be in a time like this. As you're walking down the chasm, though, you uh, it's kind of halt, and as they're kind of explaining. The, uh, what they call to be the horned hold, the sounds of orcs and gibberish coming from the path below. About 20 feet down on a rock slide, you can see what looks to be a orcish, not horde, but kind of band, <laughs> walking in kind of a corrupt unison down this path, headed by a large, eight foot tall. Or I flip them off. I uh, haven't noticed you yet because you're kind of up in the shadows. I so, flip them off in the shadows. Roll for initiative. You guys are immediately just going off. No, 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 Actually, before you put an arrow, the other one does say, uh, kind of behind one behind you, he kind of goes, It's quite odd. I've never seen a band of orcs this low beneath the earth, heading towards the horn. I kind of whisper around. It seems like it probably had a problem at base. How long you've been down here? Oh, it's been down here as long as we've been members. Well, I mean, actually, how long have you been gone for? It's hard to tell in the Underdark. You don't get to see the sun or moon too often. So a long time. Long we'll just time. go with long time. Long time. Oh, like, yes. like I love you. Long time. So I, um... Love you long time. Five I dollar. am not gay, bro. I... No, five dollar for Can I... No. Love you long um, time. No, you shouldn't. Am I able to see any, like, uh, hey. Rigotti patches or anything that would look like something Make from the Rigotti? Make a perception check. You have advantage because you've seen oh, this symbol before. <laughs> roll again. You roll again. I mean, I know God damn it. First <laughs> roll. You <laughs> missed it. He rolled a natural one. Give me the other dice. He's got Give advantage. Me. Give me the other dice. Advantage. Give me the other dice. Well, he has Please. advantage. <laughs> no. What kind of fuck? It's a natural one. No, he had it. I, I noticed it. We noticed it. natural one. Well, he's looking for something specific. A six. A six. All right. From From this angle, you don't see actually uh, anything that would look regardy regardy esque, well, but you know, um, they do oh, seem to man, be a little bit bigger, <laughs> organized in a way that uh, would seem that they are as organized as the regatti. So these aren't just some hobbling round like hobgoblins with an orc at the brutish front. They look organized. They're uh, battle lines walking down. Uh, I uh, like to start on like. Do you think I hit the orc with some acid? No, I don't think No. I say, you know what? I'm like, I bet I can. I, I bet I got this. And I spit acid at the orc. 
Attempt to. With a six. You are like 20 no. feet away uphill. <laughs> it's, it's uphill. It's 20 feet away plus uphill. Roll a d20. <laughs> roll a d20. Usually you don't have to roll for acid. Like I'm four. I missed All right. horribly. I hit on your own acid. I spit on acid. And now we I get to see if they notice you. They <laughs> 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 just first? see some green slime I fall. First? I really hope they don't realize I'm such an idiot. Yeah, they noticed you. The Wait, guy in front goes. We roll for still. <laughs> I smell acid. I like that. I like sorry. I'm, you guys, oh! You're sitting there like leaned over, kind of looking at her. I'm just like like poking my head like. Ah! Goes. I smell the breath of a dragon's born. Roll initiative. You're Fucking in the- Johnny. <laughs> My person rolled it. Let right. me roll stealth. Interesting. <laughs> Give me stealth. You can't just roll a dice stealth. For- come, <laughs> come on, come on, come on. All right, all right. <laughs> come on. Since no, that you're was actually, that first roll, we'll say you one. drop in that quick enough. My then, first roll's an you, actual twenty. You're on the floor quick enough to where, when they turn to all look, they just see <laughs> you five. You four. You, you mean? four. Sorry. I, I got a seventeen. Um. Yeah, he says, "I smell hobgoblin red hands. Prepare your bows." So I got, I, a, I got a 17, so whatever that means. So, do you have any grenades left? Yeah, I have three of them. I uh, throw, I throw grenades. You see, I, he turns to the guy closest and says, um, kind of like whisper something, kind of like, and you see this guy begins running off. I throw a javelin at him. Roll you 20. Natural, Natural 20, 20, motherfucker! You see him take a javelin, and he goes, <laughs> wow. it goes flying <laughs> through there. I like to roll yeah, now you're even playing. Now yeah. you're... Back to normal. Alright, so you get 8 plus 4, 12. You see this hog gun just drop. <laughs> just in the back. Just... <laughs> the orc kind of go hissy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bring me the head. I rolled roll a 17 for a grenade. I'm hang it on my <laughs> back. Where do I throw my grenade? Uh, roll d20. Uh, it was a 17. Alright, you take... Who, where are you throwing it? The orc. I think I'm going to go... No, it's which an one? AOE. Is, oh, yeah, is this go. the one? Is this like the firebomb one? Is it's this just the standard? Just the one that kind of just yeah, of standard rocks? explosion. All right, same one we used when so, yeah, we were in the stand, bar. It's basically uh, one of your brothers figured out that take two chem- the two water what are those two chemicals like, like water and like mm-hmm. sulfate or whatever, you put them together, it explodes. Yeah, you do that with a bunch of rocks around about it. You basically just throw it and it breaks the little seal inside and <laughs> pulls, <laughs> which pulls really hurts. Dry ice. Yeah, basically like, giant sharp rocks. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw it. I guess like right there. In range of these three, basically. All right, so you it lands right here. They're gonna make saving throws. I oh, then just not feel about that natural eight, twenty. Skew with that motherfucker. This guy and the uh, these three, I'm um, kind of all kind of launch forward. I'd like you to roll a d12. Uh, this one's a twelve. This they one. kind of the octave. the other. They're the all other kind of one. blown. The these two are blown forward, and the other guy's blown back a couple steps. He kind of takes a good amount of damage, though. Eleven. All right, so... Yeah, you see this guy fly right into the rock face and just goes... And kind of crumples down. The other guy kind of... Oh, no, whoa. He looks like the other guy's more heavier armor, so he takes a couple steps and he looks like he's got a bunch of rocks in his back. And he's like... Ugh. He looks bloody. This guy takes it all to the chest and he's just like... Boom. <laughs> he's like... Oh, he's got cuts and bruises. It doesn't seem like he's looking that good. We're not in this. In the he looks like he's preparing to to lunge. Now, since you did your natural twenty, you stealthed. You don't have to roll. I like everyone to roll for initiative. Okay. Okay, the bad guys rolled an eight. Twelve. So I'm gonna go last. Eight. No, I'm not going last. All right. So Strider, bad guys, Lucian, and Volgar. Strider, you're currently not seen. Oh, and then I have to roll for the dwarves. <coughs> Ooh. Well, no wonder this is so good. It's prickly pear juice. Yeah, oh, it's prickly pear juice. That's Strider. why it's so good. Yeah, I know. Oh, prickly pear juice. And you've got your bow. Like, I'm a prickly pear. Prickly pear juice. What would you like to do? I haven't seen you yet. Cracking a cold one with the boys. Cracking a cold one with the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Does he get like any stealth damage advantage? <sighs> Or is it just mm. stealth? Yeah, it's basically a sneak attack. Okay. Connor. That's I mean, if you... Immediate. You have advantage on your attack. I mean, if you know you got good accuracy, fucking take out the damage. <laughs> now, it is very hard to shoot a bow off. when you're lying on the ground. <laughs> take off the So once you shoot it, it's kind of... Take off the sideways. 
take out the orc. It's not impossible. I didn't know it was impossible. But it's not. But what is it? Kill shot. <laughs> Aim for tall orc dude. I'll roll a d20. Get you guys. Oh, 11. 11. Ooh, okay, 22. so with 22, he takes it straight to the chest. <laughs> you see him kind of. His shoulder kind of. Down. Hello, my bomb do nothing to him. God forbid, flaming arrow. These other guys are really kind of looking like they're pulling out a crude looking short bows. Uh, 11. 11. Uh, he looks a lot more hurt and he looks about bloody. He looks about half dead. He's like, he kind of goes through him and he's like, oh. Um, you want a second attack? Well, he's done. <laughs> roll for stealth. Uh, roll for yeah, okay. I uh, rolled you for It came from the big dragon. Well, plus my dex bonus. <laughs> he looks straight at you. The other ones don't see you, but he sees you. He's like, oh, I see this guy now. He's like, you, you fuck. You shot me. He flips <laughs> you off. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you fuck. Uh, wait, wait, hold, hold, hold on. Let me get dressed real quick. <laughs> He's like. We got the big axe coming this way. Well, I've never this, seen that one before. <laughs> uh, the bad guys are actually gonna go. This okay. one's gonna uh, <laughs> attempt to climb this this rock face with his spear. Can I just kick him? Can I counter him? He didn't get very far anyway. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, this oh, guy's gonna and He's gonna shoot at. Probably me. Is the dwarf behind me a cleric or is he just the dwarf himself? <laughs> it's a <the> rocks. <laughs> He's gonna aim at this dwarf. Okay. Not the cleric, no! I was so just kidding. <laughs> I was oh, like, shit. What's well, it that's a, land? That's a hammer agent. Uh, what did it land as? Reroll. Alright, so you see uh, this dwarf takes an arrow to the shoulder. Oh! I just, like. <clears throat> no, you didn't do anything for these dwarves. Yeah, I did. No. Last time. No, Remember? You, no, you didn't do anything. Yeah. You healed Connor. You see the dwarf takes the dwarf it and he oh, just yeah. goes. The only thing you did for a dwarf is watch it die next to you. This one's gonna shoot at. You, Ruswin? He sees you, the big wings. He, he can just suck my dick. Nope. As he's fine. He just rolls a natural that. 20. <laughs> <laughs> you see that he's got two arrows loaded. <laughs> I just, just go, pew! You're going to die. <laughs> Save me, bro. Uh, no. <laughs> no. You're going to take um, 15 points of damage. <laughs> I'm. We didn't, we didn't long rest, did we? No, we didn't. So you traveled enough to where you were able to use a short rest, so any of those hit dice that you have, those lovely, lovely hit dice that you get, um, because you guys are level threes, right? They're much higher. Yeah. I'm level no, three. I'm also level three. three. You have three. Um, well, whatever, 4K like 3D12s. Oh, I'm level four. So okay. you have, like, you I can have, use... I have 9D12s. <laughs> 12. 12. You can use one, two, or three of them. You have a pool of I'll them. use two. So that's 12. Since you're a ranger... Top you die. Yeah. I. Uh, just use those numbers on each So 17. Just, yeah, just no. so you know. Alright, and then you, no hit dice for you? I, so I took no points. And how, much, how much damage did you do? Uh, he did 15. So 24 minus 15. Oh, uh, well, that's nine. going on this other one. You take two shots, you're like, one in the wing, one in your, your chest, and you're like, ah! Okay. Uh, I can do all! The other one's gonna shoot at uh, you. He sees you kind of. Crouched over. Still, still flipping some off. And he's like, yeah, he sees the flip off. He's like, I want the finger. finger. I slow, I like, slowly turn my finger. He's actually gonna shoot your finger. He off. shoots and you don't move a muscle. He goes, ding! He totally misses. I, can I like grab it with my middle finger, like the arrow? Sure. How close is it to my hand? It's real close. Okay, I'll just go like this. <laughs> now I have one arrow. In your um, I have, a, I have guy, an arrow in my hand while flipping. He's gonna kill Connor. He's gonna take his legs and he's going to jump. Oh, he shit. jumps 20 feet up onto the ledge. I jump immediately down. I mean, a shield dwarf <laughs> is leading the whole charge. He's gonna take his two swords and he's gonna attack the first dwarf in front of him. Is that you? No. I'm Six. behind him. The first one you see just goes oh, through his chest. The second one, the dwarf's able to take down with his shield. All the dwarf is like, half his guts are kind of spilling out. He's like, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> is there a clear enough path for me to shoot acid? No, in fact, you're behind a line of good guys. <laughs> so like, who at least one is tall enough to be. Oh, so I can't like, I can't like, can't control. Yeah, I can't, like, I can't, I can't lob it. I can't lob the acid over everyone's you. head. You can roll a d20. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not gonna take it's my chance. It's actually gonna be um these dwarves turn. This guy's gonna make an attack. I'm not, I'm not. While you're doing your thing, um this guy, this guy. Just I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm if, gonna, um, if the dwarf from the front is still alive, 
No, Somehow. I, I'm at 36. So you're going to use my healing potion that only heals 5. I mean. Actually, I don't know how much it heals. I think it's percentage. So, Bruce, what would you like to do? I'm going to jump from the ledge onto the guy closest to me and use my war axe trying to just... Roll d20 to... Ah! Uh, you got a plus six? Yeah. You, you uh, 18? Yeah, so you come down on this guy. He's like, oh! So you crash on top of him. Roll your damage for that. No, that's... War axe is 2d12 plus four. Fifteen. Nineteen. Oh, you see him. Yeah, you come up and you like, crack him on the shoulder. He just... Ah! He crumbles before he Okay. Oh, this I'm brings brings us to uh, Volgar. Volgar, you're sitting up on the cliff still. Um, this guy is kind of like a little bit dreamy. <laughs> 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 like an intimidation check. <laughs> Wait, really? What have you been doing it for a while now? Alright, good enough. It's twelve. Eight, twelve. I want his finger! <laughs> I, throw, I throw the arrow that he tried to shoot me with back Ooh, at Ooh, roll d20. Add your dex. Five plus one. It like falls down. <laughs> it, it just goes... Mm. Right I have better luck rolling here than I do here. No, yeah. Definitely. Okay, well. I like these dice. Do you want to move anywhere? Yeah, literally. I got a 12. On the... Um... Fucking quit. I... Uh, this is my next roll. No! Yeah. I, I use roll? acid. What is this, what is this I use acid. <laughs> Can I, like, God damn it. Goomba stomp the guy that's trying to climb? Sure. Alright. Ten. I quit, Johnny. Uh, you jump and you slide down about five feet. Johnny. You were able to kind of catch if you want to, or to continue sliding down? A s two in a row. Come I'm on! I'm not do, rolling do a second. Do I have second. control not over whatever time. I can do if I'm Connor. Connor. grasping on? If you grasp, you're gonna... Hunter. You know... Two, you just keep going down two oh, natural 20s down. in a row. You slide past him and he's like, Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh you saved my job for uh, me. Strider, back to you. You're still up on the cliff. I'm sure if I was just hanging, there was, there was not gonna be anything else I could do. Yeah. <laughs> two okay. natural 20s. Uh, in a row. Yeah, you're not gonna get them again. Mark. Never. Oh, no. I'm done. It's gonna all be ones from here. Okay. Now it only requires vision. Okay. So, so you see him here, like count as an action. <laughs> no, you can just be like hunter's mark. <laughs> okay. So then. I'm gonna do that too. That I have sand like still on you. No, that's this stuff. On so account. are you gonna shoot him? Yes. Look at all right. Now <laughs> these doors are small enough that you can shoot over them. So go ahead and roll the twenty. How dare you insult my people? Twenty five. That hits. Might have I just roll the other one too? Might have. Go ahead, you shoot me and you shot two arrows at once. 17? That misses. This guy looks like he's got something on that and he's protected. And the. 17. Alright. Okay. Alright, <laughs> he splits blood over the dwarf in front and kind of Plus, leans on top of him. A d6 for Oh, okay, go ahead. He feels the pain of your disdain. And dies from your awful stare <laughs> and kind of slumps down onto the. <sighs> There's a giant dead orc. Bastard. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, you use on the ground. You're up here. Yeah. Want to jump down? Yeah. I do 20 feet. Okay. There's 20 feet. That's like an Ten. inch away from cock. Woo! Crunch! <laughs> take a d6. Oh, I'm sorry. I wish. Take a d6. So... You take. Six points of damage. <laughs> really? Okay. You break your ankle, you're like, ah! You break it? <laughs> Not break it, but okay. you snap both it. of them. Okay. And then it's like, ow! Uh, this will bring us to. Bad guys. Oh, where are we? Slash board. Uh, the bad guys. So. Whichever one's on the left. <clears throat> the two. He begins to bolt for it. Um. You wanna throw a spear again? No, I wanna throw a spear. He's turn. He's gonna come up to you and. Oh! With a big scimitar and shield and try and. What's your armor class? Oh, my armor class is 17. He comes in here. Do you want to blow gun? What do you got? Your maul. Right? Yeah. You yeah, yeah, you take it hard. Your no, 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 it's my war axe. Oh, war axe, okay, yeah. So you take a war axe and clank with it. Uh, this guy's going to turn to you and go, Die, dwarf. Nope. So I yell to Strider. Do I block it with my hand? Nah. Gah! Well, this oh. is your armor class. Well, this is happening. I yell to Strider. 13. Oh, no, no Strider, listen, because I need your help here. So he yeah. takes his uh, kind of jaggedy, kind of short spear. And... 
Oh! Right in the furry chest. You take 12 points of damage. Oh no, not in my furry chest. So. Uh, this will bring us to. Me. These, this guy's gonna come up to this dwarf and you see him. Uh, this brings us to Ruswin. So, before I do anything, I yell to uh, Strider and I'll say he's listening. No, I'm not listening. To Rip. at least shoot the guy next to me so that I can. You don't have to yell to him, he's literally right there. Is he, is he slide down with me? He's right there. Oh, I then say to him, hey, kill the guy next to me. I'm gonna take out the guy running. And I throw a spear at the guy running. Again. That's assuming I'm gonna kill the guy next 16. to me. 16. Which I'm not. You just throw it into his like, back leg. And that's D12? A D6. D6. 3 plus. Oh, your dex. My dex, which is. Six. Six. He kind of stumbles with a big javelin in his calf, and he kind of begins limping. But he's still going for it. But so is he? But I he's have much to slower. Shoot him uh, real quick. I give a uh, Volgar here my blowgun that I oh. got in the jungle that one time. Eighty twenty check. What's wrong? Yeah. So oh, yeah, Miles, since I didn't uh, make no, a, I'm down with you. So Johnny, there's a guy in between you. Yeah. Oh, Dex, yeah. Since I didn't move, no, Miles, do, do a second move. No, 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 you just, like, you just didn't move. Because you can attack and move at the, you know, kind of the same time. That's what so, okay. So what I was going to do is I was going to, like, be in a and try to, like, push the guy. <laughs> you throw it, and this guy, like, hits him in the back of the head, and he goes, Whoo! and he, like, sets him. <laughs> it's, like, dented. It's not broken. It's just kind of, like, <laughs> I, I can fix probably fix that. Yeah. Uh, okay, this well, brings us to... Well, it depends what the material is. Yeah. your turn. Is it still my turn? Am I able to... Move towards. They might be able to push the, this guy yeah, in front can. of me. There's a bunch of dead guys in front of you too. Well, I mean, I'm pushing down the freaking cliff in the darkness. Roll as you try to make a strength check. Natural twenty plus four is. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you just hear a. Uh, um, like you hear him hit the the side of the cliff and tumble down. <laughs> and it's still going into the just straight darkness. <laughs> straight darkness. I'm just like. Um, I'm sitting here. Well, you hear a little house scream. Uh, yeah. like rolling down. Yeah. Bulgar. Ah! Bulgar, you stand there with a spear in your side. <laughs> take it out and like the guy running. My side. Well, he, now he's just taking it. Okay. Uh, no, so I, take it I take the spear and stab him with his own spear. Seven no, these points. dice are too good for so me. What is the check? Uh, it's a strength check, but he rolled as a 19. So yeah, he, that's not happening. You grab it and he like... Moves you, right? He's like, uh, and you're like, thank Jesus. you! Ah. He's like, kind of getting like thrown around a bit. This will bring us to. Strider. Oh, it's still technically your turn if you want to make an attack. You kind of were just like, well, I guess it is your attack, huh? Well, I attempted to. Can I just throw a dagger at him? Don't dagger at the guy running. running. Throw my famous dagger. Yeah, we'll stab the lady in the hand blind. To where you can, you have like ten, not like seven feet to like throw a dagger at him. Yeah. Kind of close. Go ahead and roll we'll D20 for that. Please kill him so Connor can get the guy running. He's close to me. Just... Oh! Rolled your uh, D6 for that. This guy was kind of bloodied earlier. Five. Five, yeah, he takes it in his shoulders. And drops his spear and he's just like. You see, like, blood and spit are coming down on his Connor, head. Connor, execution! No, Connor, kill the guy that's running. We don't know where he's going. Oh, wait, we need to die. I should have thrown my dagger. You should have. He was already really damaged. There's a guy in front of me with a spear in my Connor side. Connor would have fucked him. So. Connor's got a bow! Connor, kill the guy running, please. Now that Big Orc dude is dead. Yes. I shift Hunter's Mark from him to Running Man. Mm hmm. Woo! Which I just learned in the book. I didn't know I could do that. Uh, but I also, the rules. <laughs> I also learned that. Doesn't go any higher than a D6, which kind of sucks. I think it does at like higher levels. If you can maintain higher concentration on it. Oh, can I see the book? Which, so you can do uh, eight hours, then twelve hours, then twenty-four hours. But I'm never gonna hold concentration on something that long because that's stupid. I mean, that's I can just, like re I can just recast it. Mm -hmm. oh. And it's supposed that's to be like true. someone who you're like tracking. Yeah, but sadly, you don't want to lose it. I kill everyone that I. Tend to mark with. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, 16? Holy shot! What do you mean? 
You hit him in the I back. I have advantage at 150. You, know, you see him running, you're just... <laughs> just down. He's not really running either. Exactly. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead now. Well, everyone's do, do I have to roll for damage? No. He's dead. <laughs> the two other dwarves kind of kind of grapple down. And this guy no longer looks like he's breathing out of his intestines. And they say... They kind of are looking around the corpses, and one of them goes, This is the cool I begin to loot the guy. One more guy no, he's, no, he's dead. Oh, I didn't see him! <laughs> he's oh. almost dead. Make an attack roll! <laughs> yeah, Alright, well. <laughs> Just let me hit this guy. Well, I've yeah. One more roll. Yeah, go. Execution style. Oh, yeah, you have to set me an attack. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Oh, I have to. I forgot I have Divine, divine Plus Smite. Plus <laughs> <laughs> For the Orcish Empire! Really? <laughs> 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 One! The only time it's good for something! He dies! <laughs> he just he, 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 a couple of arrows. Uh, can I. Search? Now they slide down! <laughs> big orc body? Go ahead and make an investigation check. While can he's I? investigating, what are you two doing? Um, I loot the guy closest to me. And while you're looting the investigation, Bogar? Ask the dwarf what I fucking magic he just used. To rolled a three. That other dude. Clear, I rolled clear. three twenties uh, and I rolled a three. Make a what? That's Christmas the luck of the day. I rolled a three. So. Hey, watch this. Ah! Watch. I See this? Them off. See this? Magic! I dwarves! How dare you make such a accusation? I'm a dwarf too. Yeah, they are quite ah, ah, Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing... <laughs> Do you have any pendants that you're wearing? Anything rings like that? Do like you have like any... The only pendant he might have is a tag from one of the dwarves. The only ring I had was from Peyton's Adventure. You don't have any other like... amulets or anything? No. No? No. You had... You had a uh, gold amulet that we had when we were it, trying to break into it. It up from a dead lizard dude. It wasn't an actual, like, but it's an amulet important spell. Spell. Wait, spell. so he finds spell. that spell. what made him strong, he's wearing What's regular spells? armor, but he has a uh, an amulet on that you pick up in an actual point. You realize it's a amulet of, of protection of plus two. Amulet of class, camel, camel speak. Amulet of plus two. You can speak to camels. So yeah. I just put my armor class up to you? Try to find Bane, but I can't find it. Where is it now? I don't know where I'd be able to find it. it. I, it's one of my paladin well, what kind spells. Of armor Split mail? Split mail is an eight, uh, 18. 18, so, so we'll get say it's 21. Different armor soon? What? what? I want different armor soon. Oh, I shouldn't have shown my armor. Next time I ride like a crafting bench. Alright, so... Level 9. Level 9, yeah. With that, oh yeah, so you find this really cool amulet, uh, but the... The part that's interesting is that it's like a, uh, it looks to be a, um, it's somewhat sentient. A very familiar to a Rigati symbol you saw. Um, as you kind of take a second look at it, it does look like it's a amulet that would belong to a Rigati agent. You've seen these all over the place, um, on every agent actually, um, that we found. Most of them seem to be magical, but this one seems to be blessed. You would believe magic of some sort has been crafted into this amulet. So I rolled a three. So you don't find jack shit. <laughs> I checked the next closest body to me. Which one did you check? I the checked seven? the one basically right next to. All right. Um. Yeah. Strategy. We'll just say you checked. You're checking all these kind of guys because just for rolling sake. Well, let me roll again then. What? what? I rolled. Well, I rolled for the first guy. All right. So yeah, the first the other guy body. you don't find it. He's just got uh, fur. Really bad sword. Eighteen. He got for the, rest. the other guys wearing what looks to be kind of a weirdly put together plate mail almost. Um, Damn it! I grab I'm it. Gonna get an arm. Why aren't you rolling? I already rolled for my thing. Um, I rolled to figure out. What I am I able to roll to, to check the, the two bodies the that are down at the end that I, really I javelin? Okay. As you're walking really down, well, you can see if I didn't get anything. The two dwarves are kind of the same. Took his amulet. You could take his actual armor. This is very strange. Dwarves. I can't work it. Orcs are abundant, but generally they do not. Walk towards the horn down. This is not nearly enough to be a war band. Um, just caution the head. I roll to check if they are having regatti marks on them. Oh, it's a four. Hey, you can't find anything. Okay, as we I, I pop open a beer. 
As well, lads. <laughs> As, oh, fuck, but as we get closer oh. to the two bodies that we javelin ah. slash arrowed, I search both. Right. Yeah, you gotta search 17. All, all the bodies. Alright, um. Just leave, leave nothing for AJ. Mm. I don't think He's so. freaking beer. You find ah. some decent weapons, you find a scimitar, kind of a. I don't know. Uh, it's a trident, like, kind of spear. Let me know. It's not like a trident, but it's got the three prongs. Uh, one of them's wearing what seems to be chainmail, the other one's got, like, this weird crudely made uh, leather armor. Uh, specifically though, um, one of them's carrying about uh, 10 gold pieces. Okay. Seems to have a little sack of loot. And the other one has a, uh, he seems to be carrying, he seems to have something like a locket. It's very expensive. I take the locket. Oh, rip. I leave the chainmail and the weapons. I, okay. Well, I can't even use the chainmail, so. Mm, I literally yeah. can't use anything. Uh, with that, uh, do you guys want to keep going down the path? <laughs> I ask, uh, I yeah. ask, I ask him again what magic they use. I guess. Uh, I make an investigation check. Uh, do you piss them off so much or anything they want to talk to you? Because no, okay. you rolled a natural one. Can I give him a beer? For any clues on... You meant the natural one. <laughs> you can now talk beer. to him They kind of like, Every dwarf likes beer. They kind of drink it like... Mm. Okay, well, they like me less. They don't like me less. Wait. They like Make me a little bit more. On potential motivation for the orcs. For the orcs? Yes. Oh, the 20. Well, they didn't seem like they were fighting. It seems they were all kind of carrying, uh, they had just gotten back from something. As you're kind of tracking the bodies and the footprints and kind of the wounds, they actually were kind of somewhat wounded going into this. Um, oh, shit. But they kind of look like oh. wounds that, like, bruises and cuts that have been bandaged up about probably like a couple days ago. Um, this looks like a returning group of soldiers, perhaps a scouting party, or even a looting party, has gone into the Underdark to return to back to a home or a resting place. It's very odd that they're walking in such a tight formation, but they were so relaxed going in this direction towards the Horned Hold. Any indication that they have crossed paths with it? Uh, no, you don't recognize these. Uh, the word Red Hand does ring a bell. Uh, you know that it's kind of an orcish goblinoid kind of tribe. Um, they had kind of had a huge force going for a second, kind of the bigger orc uh, goblin war bands. They're kind of keeping them themselves right now in kind of the mountains and underground passages, but, so it's not that rare to see ones that have pledged their allegiance to uh, Although usually, people like this, hobgoblins and orcs have their own, you know, tribes that they are part of. So, seeing a bigger warband here does it in the explanation that uh, this isn't just some random orcs walking through the I'm gonna now. invest in the locket that I picked up. Uh, you open it up and you realize that it's got the face of uh, a bearded dwarf on one side, he's bald, and on the other side, oh, another bearded bald. dwarf. With long locks of hair. <laughs> you realize this is a picture of a male and female dwarf. <laughs> um, I checked the picture. I, can I investigate <laughs> the locket slash the bodies for um, Ember Shard symbols? Uh, There's no Ember Shard no. I mean, check the locket, I guess. Maybe the locket might be Ember Shard material. 15. It does have a uh, Ember Shard logo on the back. As if this was made by... Uh, this is gold from like an Ember Shard bank or something. You still I have that dead body I kind of look yet. back to everyone. Uh, I look back to Strider and I uh, Volgar and I'm like, hey, uh, uh, look at this. And I like call him over to me. No, look at no. the back of the locket. I, I don't I'm still. I'm actually. One of the dwarves says, "That's an Ember Shard locket. They sell those at the Ember Shard gift shop in the Horn Hold. Why does an orc have one?" I vomit a little bit. I say, uh, <laughs> let's just hope that Sorry. these weren't friendly. And begin to walk down the passage. Why, why would you say that? Hey guys, if you like this little D&D &D audio session, uh, we're going to have a lot more in the future. Hopefully, uh, as time goes by, we'll have uh, more sessions and uh, cleaner audio and uh, a whole bunch of stuff. But this is all part of a big project. That we are doing over in the Scourge headquarters. Or just really our gaming headquarters in general. But either way I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, there will be more in the future. And eventually we will have our faces. 
But that is a promise that is currently being constructed at the moment. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And this is Party PD, signing off.